Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Before we get started here, I do just want to preface that this video is being sponsored by Coding Dojo. Coding Dojo reached out to me and wanted to do a review on their curriculum of their coding bootcamp. And I thought, what better way to like integrate this into a topic where I thought it would be interesting, which is, should I have gone to a coding bootcamp? Should I have not been self-taught? Should I have changed the route that I took entirely? We're gonna go over the curriculum in this video. And then at the end of it, hopefully we can all come to a consensus of, is a bootcamp worth it? Is it worth your time or is self-taught the way to go? So hopefully we can come to a conclusion of that. But either way, I wanted to preface that. I will be providing an unbiased opinion, even though they've reached out to me and this is an advertisement, I will be giving you my unbiased review on whether or not I think this is worth it for you. So anyways, let's just get started. So when you get onto Coding Dojo's website, this is what you're greeted with. And there's a couple of things that I do want to point out is that they actually do have campuses that you can head out to. At this moment in time, obviously they're going to be closed due to COVID, but just to name a couple on-site places, you have Bellevue, Washington, you got Boise, Chicago, Los Angeles, and the Silicon Valley. So it's really cool that you have some on-site campuses that you can head out to, but the main focus we're going to have on today is going to be the online section because obviously that is going to be the biggest attraction here in terms of comfortability, conveniency, just being able to do a boot camp online at home in your pajamas is one of the best things ever. So we're going to be focusing on that, but they've got a lot of cool different, you know, uh, courses here that you can actually take. So with software development, you've got the online full-time, you've got an online part-time accelerated, which is really cool for those of us that may be working or are in school, things of that nature. This is super cool. And as well as a part-time flex, you also have an online self-paced. Uh, this is for those of us that are a little bit more disciplined than others or have the self-discipline that can go through the self-paced and, you know, we can still dedicate some time, but it may not be during class times, which is great. The other cool thing too, is that you have some data science, cybersecurity and UX UI design. So not just our software developers out there are being curated here, but for right now let's focus on the online full time software development bootcamp. So this is the page that we're landed on now. Learn three full stacks from anywhere in just 14 weeks. Now that's very different from any other boot camps that I've heard of because this time seems very, very fast. It's full time, it's 14 weeks, and you're also dedicating 70 to 90 hours a week, which seems really fast, but I feel like, you know, I think for me personally, I like that. I don't wanna spend six months in a boot camp to learn all these different things. Obviously, we're gonna have to take a look at their curriculum, but, you know, at face value, 14 weeks seems really fast. I think I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and I'm gonna say that this might actually work in our benefit. Now keep in mind, their next cohort starts on December 13th. So if you're looking for a coding bootcamp and at the end of this video, you decide that you want to go to Coding Dojo for your coding bootcamp, Make sure you sign up before December 13th. A link will be in the description should you decide to do it so that you can sign up uh, and get in there before the cohort starts. Now, the main thing we wanna take a look at here is going to be the curriculum. If we click this button here, we're navigated down to the three full stacks, three times the learning. And then down here is going to be a breakdown of every single week and what we're going to learn. So this is again, just very, very different from what I'm used to seeing in a boot camp, you have 14 weeks, so it's accelerated time, but you also touch three different stacks. That's unheard of to me. It's not like the boot camps that specialize in one stack and that's all you get at the end. Coding Dojo capitalizes on the three different stacks and teaches all of that to you within 14 weeks. Not only does this provide you a complete skill set with the all three of these stacks, but it also allows you to learn new technologies a lot easier down the line when you're actually started your career. So pretty much with three full stacks, you're able to just touch everything all at once. And really this is just a one-stop shop for you. I don't think you really need any other bootcamp. And so far, this is looking really, really good to me. So with that being said, let's go over every single week. Let's look at the stacks that they're going, you're going to cover in the bootcamp and go through a rundown 
of everything. And then at the end, like I said, we'll come to a conclusion. So to start us off, we've got the basics. Um, you know, first two weeks, you're going over programming basics. I think this is really cool. This is some of the technologies you will touch. One call out here is there is a skills assessment to see whether you have the programming basics or not, which I think is cool. So if you already understand these things, you can skip it and, and move to a different section of the bootcamp where your skills are kind of lining up. This is also a great call out to note that Coding Dojo does also offer a free virtual web fundamentals workshop. You can check the link into my description if you want to check that out. And I think that would be very, very beneficial for those of you who are kind of on the fence still about a bootcamp. And so down here, some of the things you'll learn, web interfaces, the DOM and data manipulation, as well as some industry tools. So again, starting off day one, we're already learning some really key things here. And now we're just moving on to weeks one and two. Weeks one and two, this is where you'll touch some web fundamentals. So things like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, some things you're gonna build, user interfaces and website animation. So very, very basic stuff here. But then the big stuff comes in starting on week three. So week three, we're touching Python full stack. Some of the technologies are, you're gonna touch are primarily right here, but the big ones for me are Python, MySQL, Flask. Those are really, really big here. And these are some of the patterns you'll see is object-oriented programming, SQL relational databases, the Python MVC frameworks, and design patterns. I'd imagine this is the same if we click through the rest of the weeks for each stack that you're gonna learn these different patterns because these are gonna be very key for you if you're going to learn any new technologies or just to pick up any other stack further down the line, like I said, it's cool that they teach you this kind of stuff. So pretty much once you're out of this bootcamp, you're gonna be geared up and one of the most versatile candidates when it comes down to interviews at companies. And then taking a look at a couple of things that you're gonna build in Python are mini e-commerce websites, data web scrapers, and login registrations. So really, really cool projects you've got going on here. It's not just the learning section you'll have, but you'll also get time to apply what you've learned into practical projects, which you could probably then use for your portfolios. So I mean, this is a win-win here. You get to learn some technologies and as well as get some projects on the side for your portfolio. So this is pretty cool that they're able to do this for you within that 14 week span. And then moving on to stack two, which starts on week seven and goes through week 10. This is the Mern full stack. And this is what I'm excited about. This is what I've been wanting and itching to know. This consists of MongoDB, Express slash Node, React. You know, the Mern stack is very, very well known. It's very, very popular. And again, like I said, same patterns here, object oriented programming, no SQL database design in the MVC framework. So again, really cool that they get to teach you this stuff. And now you get to see what these patterns look like in a different stack and again you get to see those patterns and then it clicks in your head like oh this makes so much sense and then down the line boom it's you're, you're able to pick up so much and then some of the other things you'll build in burn mini social websites mini on online marketplace real-time chat features so all these projects to me at least are actually really exciting because it, these are things that i would actually want to build if I were using these stacks. And then moving on to stack three, week 11s through 14, you've got the Java full stack, which is very, very surprising to me because again, I've never seen a bootcamp ever even offer this. Obviously my exposure to bootcamps is very, very small, but you know, for the few that I know, and I know a handful, Java full stack is just not there. You get Java 8, JSP, Spring MVC, which I'm aware of, but the list goes on here. And again, same patterns here. Some of the projects you'll build, mini event planning app, music playlist app, custom projects that, you know, it says students have built video games, data visualization tools, fitness tracker apps, and more. So it's awesome that they give you the flexibility to do anything really and, and let your mind and your creativity create any project you want with the new skill sets that you've now attained. And so the big next step is graduation. And so a big topic here that I see with boot camps and that a lot of people ask about is their career services after graduation. The, the cool thing is here, the big keyword is lifetime access. You have lifetime access to their career services. There's no expiration date on the lifetime community plus support. You know, you have unlimited support and you even get one-on-one -on -one mentors. You're able, if you want, you can go to this website. I also have this link here in the description as well for you guys to come here and check out. You know, you can go through some of these and see what they've got, but the, the support that you have here with career services is pretty extensive, if you ask me. With all the money and time that you actually invest in a bootcamp, you would want something like this to be returned to you. You don't want to spend all that money and all those, you know, hours during a week spent doing projects, learning, 
and then in the end you don't get any career services or help you know finding a job because you know as you guys know the interviews and and the process in general can get really really cumbersome and because you chose coding dojo you know all of this just gives me the vibe that they're actually willing to invest into you as an individual they're willing to help you lifetime in terms of finding a career getting another job helping you with your resume the list goes on and on and on and on and that investment that return that they're willing to give is something that really really stands out to me and that i find really really cool which makes coding dojo unique from any other boot camp that i've actually ever seen and researched and trust me when i was on my self-taught route i did a lot of research on boot camps to see if this was the right route for me. And never did I see lifetime support for career services being something that was offered. So with all that being said, I think that right now Coding Dojo really, really stands out to me. I like what they've got going on. I like what they offer. And should I have gone to a coding bootcamp? If I go back and I saw Coding Dojo now, I probably would. Uh, you know, like the curriculum that they have is very, very intriguing to me. I get to see more technologies that than I was ever exposed to being self-taught. I only went for React, I went with what's popular. And I think that if I went through this curriculum, I would have been given the choice to kind of explore. That's the key thing here is you get to explore, you get to touch all these different stacks, these technologies, and you really become, like I've said before, versatile. You become a versatile individual slash candidate to these hiring managers slash companies because you know these different stacks, you're able to maneuver through all these things and pick up new technologies fairly quickly. And to do this within a 14 week span also teaches you that pace. 14 weeks isn't unrealistic, it's doable as long as you put your mind to it and invest the time and hard work. Like I said, I think Coding Dojo is a great boot camp. If I had gone back in time and not that self-taught and actually thought about doing a boot camp, Coding Dojo would have been my choice. 100% beats out the other boot camps. And like I said, that is an unbiased opinion. I legitimately think I would have enjoyed my time here if I were to be a student. Nonetheless, the decision is up to you. I can only provide you my review and my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But I do think that if you're looking to be, if you're looking to go into a coding boot camp, Coding Dojo should be your top choice but resources will be in the description down below for you guys to check out and do more of your own research along with this video but i hope you guys got something out of this i hope you guys enjoyed this video but that's gonna do it for today i will see you guys in another video peace out